Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting video if you have not subscribed our channel then please subscribe our channel and to get each and every update please click on the bell icon, and if you have not watched the previous video then please watch it those will help you to understand this video. In this video, we will see how to integrate Hibernate with Spring MVC. What is Hibernate? It is an object relational mapping ORM framework for the Java language. It provides a framework for mapping an object-oriented domain model to a relational database. It solves object relational impedance mismatch problems by replacing direct persistent database accesses with high-level object handling functions. Its primary feature is mapping from Java classes to database tables and mapping from Java data types to SQL data types. It also provides data query and retrieval facilities. It generates SQL calls and relieves the developer from manual handling and object conversion of the result set. What is Session Factory? Session Factory is an interface and extends referenceable, serializable and which is available in org.hibernate package. Creates sessions, usually, an application has a single session factory and it is long-live multi-threaded object so can say it's a thread safe. Usually, one session factory should be created for one database so if have multiple databases then multiple session factories required. Session factories are immutable. The behavior of a session factory is controlled by properties supplied at configuration time. These properties are defined on environment. Here is the syntax. What is session? A session is used to get a physical connection with the database. The session object is lightweight and designed to be instantiated each time an interaction is needed with the database. Persistent objects are saved and retrieved through a session object. The session is not thread safe. Sessions are opened by a session factory and then are closed when all work is complete. A session obtains a database connection lazily, that is only when required, to avoid creating too many sessions. Here is the syntax. What is data source? Spring obtains a connection to the database through a data source. A data source is part of the JDBC specification and is a generalized connection factory. It allows a container or a framework to hide connection pooling and transaction management issues from the application code. Here is the syntax. Let's implement. Before starting anything let's run and see whatever we added till now it's working fine or not. Service started, let's open in browser, see it's working fine. Now let's start Hibernate integration. Starts from pom.xml. Let's remove unit dependency because we are not adding any test cases. Let's add Hibernate related dependency. Let's search for Hibernate 4.3.0. Copy this and paste it in POM. Let's add my SQL related dependency. Copy this and paste it in POM. Now let's add property file which will keep adding database related properties to make it simple file name db.properties. Now I am adding db connection related properties.
Now let's create an XML file for Hibernate configuration so file name must be hibernate.cfg.xml. Now let's the search for this Hibernate configuration DTD file. Here it is. Let's copy these doc types. Now we can add Hibernate configuration whatever we are going to add that is standard code. That's it for this file. Let's create bean property placeholder so we can read db.properties file. Now let's create Hibernate related beans in Spring.xml file. Before that we need commons dbcp related dependency means commons database connection pooling. From Apache documentation you and read about it. Let's copy this dependency in palm xml file. Now let's create database connection related beans. Let's add a Spring ORM related dependency to integrate Hibernate. Copy this and paste it in POM. Create a package which will contain all model.
as you can see one being for the data source, and one for session factory and one for the transaction. We are using transaction so need to add the transaction related namespace. See everything is simple only you need to follow proper step. Let's create a simple model class called employee which will contain some simple fields. Need to add JPA related annotations. Let's run and see it's working or not. This error is coming because my SQL version is not compatible. Let's run again. C server started. Let's review whatever we added. Let's check table is created or not. Not yet so let's create db and restart the server again. See table created. Thanks for watching, if you like this video then please click the like button, we will come back shortly with new video.